Okay, so in this question, we would like to find the area of this nice star shape that's made by some octagons. And all of the sides of this star have length A. Let's jump right in then and think about how we would actually find the area. So to start off with, we're going to split this shape up into four triangles on the outside and then a larger square in the middle. Let's think then first about some properties of octagons and how we could use that to help us. And our first thing to think of is about the angles in an octagon. Well, the exterior angle of an octagon is 45 degrees and the interior is 135. So let's add those on just to see how they fit in. 135 and 45. Well, because everything in this diagram is symmetrical, that means we can also say that this angle here is 45. And angles in a triangle must add up to 180. So that angle there has to be a right angle. That's really good for us because it means that these four triangles on the outside are definitely right angled triangles. OK, let's see how we can use that to help us, though. If we draw a triangle like this, so let's draw just the same as what we've got here. We've got a right angled triangle. These two are both 45 degrees, but we're not too worried about that. Uh, for its area, we know that the area of a right angled triangle is a half times the base times the height. And when we think about the side lengths being A, it should be really, really clear to us the area is just going to be a half times A times A. So a half times A times A. Or, to write that a bit nicer, just a half of a squared. Okay, we're going to hold that then. That's the area of just one triangle, and I might draw a picture of a triangle to remind us a bit later what that represents. Next step then, because we've got these smaller triangles, now we need to turn our attention to the big square in the middle. First of all, we're going to add some a's in just to see how this thing looks. So we can add in this side here is an A, and this here is an A, but we're still not really sure about this triangle in the middle. What we'd like to do is figure out the whole side length here, and obviously because it's a square, we can just square it. To figure out that side length, we first of all can think about splitting these triangles in half. So let's add a new line in to show we're splitting this one in half. And what that means now is we have a right angle here. This side length is still A, and we remember that the angle in here is 45 degrees. Hmm, how can we work out this distance? Thinking about a bit of trigonometry, if we draw a triangle like this, well, we've got 45 degrees, right angle, and A. We should be able to think that this side length here is going to be A times cosine of 45. So let's write that down. We've got A times cos of 45. Cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. So that's telling us that this length here is a times root 2 over 2. I'm also going to add that into my diagram. So I've got a root 2 over 2. But that was just one half of this triangle. So let's add in the other half. We've got another a root 2 over 2. Thinking about that all together then, let's consider the whole length of this larger square. We've got a plus another a, so that's 2a. And we've got two lots of a root 2 over 2. Two of these. So they add up to just give us plus a root 2. 
And actually what's nicer for us here is let's factor out the a from this. So that tells us the length of the larger square is a brackets 2 plus root 2. Great. That's really helpful for us. Now we can figure out if we know the side length, we just need to multiply it by itself for the area of the square. So I'm going to write down in maybe a different colour, let's do it in this colour, the area of the square equals a times 2 plus root 2, all of that squared. So a is 2 plus root 2. I'm going to put it in square brackets to show, look, we're squaring this entire thing, all of it. Let's see what we get then for the area of that square. So what this gives us is a squared, first of all. And when we square 2 plus root 2, we're going to get 2 squared, first of all, which is 4. Then we get 2 root 2 plus another lot of 2 root 2. So it's going to be 4 root 2. And on the end, we're going to get root 2 squared to give us 2. This is plus another 2. I'm going to have to jump up here to finish that off for the area of the square. So it's going to be a squared. We've got 4 plus 2, which gives us 6. So in brackets, 6 plus 4 root 2. Okay, so at the moment we have got a triangle which has area half a squared and we've got the larger square in the middle with area a squared times 6 plus 4 root 2. Let's consider then the whole area all together, what do we need to do? And that's going to be the square, I'll try and stick to my same colours, we want to do the square plus four lots of the triangle. So plus four lots of our triangle. I'll just put the number four. That gives us one, two, three, four, and the whole square, our total area. Let's write down what we've got then. So our square was a squared, brackets, six plus four root two. And we want to add four lots of a half a squared. That was the area of the triangle. So one half a squared. Okay, now we just need to add all of this up. We can take out a factor of a squared because it's included in both of these. It's got a squared, six plus four root two. And now we're thinking, well, we've got four times a half, so that just gives us another plus two. Four lots of a half. Six plus two will give us eight. I think this should be an a squared as well. We've got a squared, brackets, eight plus four root two. And just to finish off, to make our answer look really nice, we can factor out two from this. Eight plus four root two. We can factorise that to give us a squared brackets 2 plus root 2. Ooh, this should be a root 2. We can factor out a 4 in front of there. And that's our answer. 4a squared brackets 2 plus root 2.